Oh, here it goes. It's starting. Ooh. Oh, it's starting. It's starting. It's pretty. It's been like a freaking year. Just damn. I know. Holy well, like for damn. them and for us. Yeah, I know, <laughs> It's taken right? Ike a year to do this. Yes. And it's taken us a year to play Ike's story. Wow. That's the, I think that's it works. The Tower of I think it works. And there's Leanne. Hi, Leanne. We got you out of Serena's forest. Everything's cool now. She must have been stiff. Oh when she man! Woke up. Oh, like, hi, Asher. We are coming to get you. Don't you go all broody woody on top of your tower. We're gonna come and get you. We are. We're coming to get you with, with big cats, with kitties, and, and Ike. Ike. And a whole bunch of ragtag band of mercenaries and oh, stuff. Oh yeah, and Titania's gonna stay home and make sandwiches. Soren's gonna be on Soren. the front lines oh. and make sandwiches. <laughs> He's gonna Black Knight, you we made you rage quit. We made totally you rage made you quit rage. so hard. Made you Serena's forest. We brought it back to life. Well, Racing and Leanne. Race and Leanne brought yeah. it back to life. To the sound of the Firebird Suite, because no that's less. So much better. Look at all of the pretty people! All of the Grail mercenaries, I plus Seahark and Nephany and Braum. Yay. Yay! And there's Ilyana and Marsha in there. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> what a great game. We haven't even finished it, and yeah. Oh god, something terrible might happen on the final chapter that make us hate it. <laughs> I am Agent Elrond. I'm Rafi McMutton Chomper. And we're here to finish Fire Emblem 9, Path of Radiance. Heck yeah. Heck yeah, we're here on the base episode of Endgame Repatriation. And I'm gonna start by going over, just going over our characters. Ike is at level 20, and as you can see, he's maxed everything except HP, magic, and luck. He's so close to maxing HP! Um, stat upping items-wise, I think all I gave him was one, um, uh, Seraph robe for his yes, HP. Everything else robe. he maxed on his own because I was anal about level ups. That really, I didn't get lucky with any of these guys. Like, if I got lucky, it's because I did not accept two statters more than, you know, a couple of times per characters, and I would restart chapters for growth, which I think is a perfectly legitimate way to play this game. Anyway. And besides, this game is easy enough that once you have the strategy get down, you can just play it, like, yeah. by machine. You can. Pretty much, yeah. Almost. Uh, I like to have a strategy that's sort of almost infallible like yeah. that. That if you follow the strategy, you'll win. I don't like... Uh, you know, gambling on, 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 you know, lucky hits like a critical or missing yeah. or something. Anyway. We didn't like Las Vegas. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's right. We And there's a cat who's... Don't land in the water, kitty. No. You are not a performer in O. Nix. Don't land on the remote either. She's coming! There she goes. There we go. Stuck it on the desk. Alencia. We used her to kill a thief, and that and was that it. that was it. <laughs> Illy! Illy, okay, Illy we did give her. We gave her uh, a speed wing and two, both of the spirit dusts, because her magic, res like, refused to grow. <laughs> but, um, so two spirit dusts and a speed wing, and we got her to level 20. Oh, yeah! Yeah. This skill, skill she did all on her own. I wasn't aiming for having her to have good skill. Skill and res, she got that. Yeah, yeah. She, she got that. Reese! Reese is awesome. He's only at level 11. That's the thing, is Ike and Ileana and I think Jill are way over leveling people because I wanted to get them to level 20, and everyone else is sort of around level 10 promoted. Reese is at level 11, as you can see here. And the thing that really nice about Reese is that his staff and light ranks are combined. So basically, he's you can just have him be a dedicated staff user and then, you know, just put whatever light spell you want on him. I just have light because it it's like, I'm planning on having him just mostly be a staff user. I don't intend to have him do a lot of fighting. But as you can see, he's two points off maxing magic at this point, and four points off res, but really, if I got him up to level 20, you would probably max both of those stats. And this Reese actually got remarkably good defense for Reese. I was very happy about that. Yeah. Rolf! Rolf, I kind of underused him. I, I find that snipers, I find snipers kind of difficult to train because they can't fight at melee range, and so you can really only use them either you bait the enemy into going after them long range, or you use them as snipers on your turn, and so it's sometimes kind of a little hard to get them the kind of massive amounts of XP to power level them. But Rolf is, Rolf is definitely nifty, I really liked using Rolf. And it, it's like he's fast and skilled, 
and not that strong. I mean, his strength is good, but he, he relies mostly on being a double hitter. But then his defense! His defense! It's like, he's not like this, he's not like the mages who are like, you know, an enemy breathes on them wrong and they die. It's like, Rolf, you could, you know, I did use him to wall on the front lines. And he did it quite effectively. So, I like Rolf. And he activates Deadeye, which is nifty. Brom. Oh, bro. Bro. Who said he's not as good as Gatry? Who said? Who said Gatry is better? Actually, here's something I want to point out about these, you know, you have this kind of like hierarchy of characters, like these are the best characters and these are crappy characters, you shouldn't train them. And I, I just sort of, it made me think about, you know, Pokemon. When mm -hmm. we were into Pokemon and we would be putting up these RMTs on, on the Pokemasters forums, uh, RMT is rate my team, because you'd have these teams of Pokemon. And in Pokemon, there was this stigma attached to what they called OU, overused Pokemon. Pokemon um, like Dragonite and I'm trying to remember the the Psychic and Steel one that was sort of the equivalent. Metagross. Metagross and these Pokemon that were really strong and had really good move sets and they were considered overused because everyone used them. It took no strategy to use these Pokemon. They were just really, really good Pokemon. And it was actually considered more sort of admirable to have trainers who used Pokemon who weren't as good stat-wise and used clever strategies to make them good, like Togekiss! Although oh Togekiss might has might I think have, Togekiss has, is has, has Togekiss become OU. I think Togekiss but like, is Yeah, OU. but like, you know, you make, you try to make a teams of Pokemon using like, you know, weird ones like Walrian and Obsol and make them work. You know, um, and and I sort of think it's funny that in Fire Emblem, the people sort of consider it just fine. In fact, it's considered like the right thing to do to use the overused characters like, you know, Ike and Gatry and the, the, the uh, well, Ike is mandatory, so you can't really help it. <laughs> Ike is your starter. <laughs> uh, but, but it's just sort of funny to me to think that like the characters that are easy to train, that take no strategy to know how to use, which would be, be in the Pokemon world, they'd be considered overused and we kind of like sneered at people like, oh, you just skated through the game using, you know, the, the Ike and Oscar A support hacks. Huh, what kind of a player are you, you know? That's how the Pokemon people would sort of treat that kind of player. Or at least the Pokemon, at least the Pokemon are... people that I hung out with ten years ago. God, I feel old. Um, but no, I consider sort of Braum is kind of a, a Yu Yu. The... He's an underused character and if you use him right, he can be really awesome. Enough Pokemon! Nephany. Nephany's kind of like the Skarmory of this game. It's sort of like, you look at her and you're like, no, nah, okay, and then you start training her and it's just like, holy cow! Or at least a uh, Ruby Sapphire Skarmory. Ruby Sapphire Skarmory. In, Skarmory in my competitive Silver play, Ruby. Skarmory in Ruby and Sapphire was amazing because of spikes. Yeah. Spike Sandstorm Shuffle. Yeah. Yeah. Enough Pokemon, enough Pokemon. Nephany's cool. The thing about Nephany is her growths don't really match her caps. So she has kind of lowish strength and defense growth, even though they're decent, and really high skill and speed. But you see, she's capped speed. She caps skill at like 27, I think. So she's like on the edge of capping skill. But then she's actually got really nice strength and defense caps too, but she's much less likely to hit them. Um, but she's nifty. She is so nifty. Jill! Jill! Jill is Dragonite! <laughs> Dragon, 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 Thank you. You have to tickle it to keep it from going to sleep. <laughs> you want safari down here. No. <laughs> you, you keep talking. Leith is, uh, but she's kind of funny. She's really well balanced. Um, and she just seems, she's like a solid unit. She's not a liability. <laughs> what I've found Leith to be most effective at is I've give, uh, I'm going to be giving her, that's right, I should do this right now. Um, I'm giving her the other statue frag. I already gave her one. I'm going to give her another one. Statue frag. Statue frag. What did I say? Statue fag. Statue fag. That's David. That's Michelangelo's David as a statue fag. <laughs> Whacked for that, I'm sorry. Um, is that, uh, she's just been really useful as just a unit to run around and carry extra stuff, and now her weight's high enough, she can shove frickin' Jill. 
Well, once she's transformed. Um, so yeah, I found her really useful. I'm really glad I trained her. She's really useful just as sort of a supporting unit, even if she's not like a frontliner striker unit. Um, so I like her. Rayson. Rayson is Heron. He's the best Heron. This one only grew in resistance twice in <laughs> 10 level ups, which is kind of weird. Um, but he grew- he has a strength point. He has a strength point to Heron punch people with. Also good as an extra bit of inventory. Soren. Soren doesn't compare very favorably to Ilyana right now because I haven't doped him up on stat boosting items, except for his defense. I did give him a Draco shield. Um, but I think Soren actually is sort of the better magey mage than Ilyana. Ilyana, as you can see up here, Ilyana has much better strength, and I did not give her any strength boosting items. I give him all the mist. <laughs> Why am I looking at this here? Soren! Yeah, so Soren, Soren's thing is he has less HP and strength than Ilyana, but everything else he's kind of as good or better, and so I think if you're gonna train one mage just based on stats, you train Soren, but that sort of brings you back to the whole sort of overused thing, like of course everyone wants to train Soren. If you want to make, you know, mix things up, train Ilyana. And she'll work. Oscar. We got Oscar, man. I got a weird Oscar. Oscar usually turns out having, like, better defense, slightly worse strength, and good speed and skill. He's funny. Oscar is funny. But he's great. What I think one of the things that makes Oscar really great is his Earth affinity. So that whatever he supports with, he gets monstrous avoid, which just makes any character godly. And he's a paladin, and you don't really get- he doesn't- he's not really showing it off because he's only at level 10, but paladins in this game have excellent caps! It's like- like Straight. everything, except for like, except for magic and resistance, they cap in like anywhere from like 25 to 27, or was it 26 to 28? You're something like that. Yeah. I mean, he's got 25 strength, he still hasn't capped it. Sane in Fire Emblem 7 would hit like 24 strength, and that's it. Yeah. You know, say goodbye to that 60% strength growth. Mwah. But that's I what I really like about Paladins. I really, I think Paladins in Fire Emblem 9 were done better than any other, than in any other Fire Emblem game. Certainly better than in the sequel. Almost too good, maybe. I don't but think so. I think they're really excellent classes, and it's like, you know, I, I'm using it's, it's Oscar. Like... Oscar is a lance, is a fast, accurate lance specialist, and so is Nephany, and I'm using both of them, and they're both good. You know. Yeah. Os Oscar can get around and has Canto and bows, but on the flip side, Nephany is immune to all of like the effective weapons, like you know, horse slayers and that kind of stuff. Mm -hmm. So. You know, I think it's good. Mist! You monster! She is Mage Knight! Gave her Anduril because it's her sword, even though she works much better with the Sonic Sword and the Rune Sword now. <laughs> She's awesome. Boyd. Boyd in this game is saved by his ability to use, use bow. bows. That's really what saves him. I I he's not that great a brawly fighter, I think, because he can deal so much damage. But he's kind of a glass jaw. That 15 defense. The 15 defense, and really, you know, his HP, he'll cap his HP. Oh, I gave him the other angelic robe, that's why his HP is all the way up to 59. He might cap HP in the mm -hmm. Volk. Next time I play this game, I'm just not training any Myrmidons, I'm just gonna be training Volk. <laughs> he's great. Jeffrey, didn't really train Jeffrey. There's Mia. Hi, Mia. Yeah, Mia is really good, stat-wise, but I think in this game you really need characters that have sort of more staying power. More kind of defense and strength. Yeah, avoidance well like... tanks, you need a lot more avoid in this game to be an avoidance tank. And... Because how hit is calculated in this game, instead of using half luck for accuracy, it uses full luck for accuracy. Yeah, so... so... Avoidance tanking is a little more difficult. Yeah, uh, that's, I think, really what sort of worked against Mia was the fact that also, her... also, the main thing that I felt worked against her was kind of her lowest strength, because that was the thing I noticed about her. She started getting good when she got more strength. Yeah. Bastion didn't really use Bastion. Kieran! Oh, Kieran was awesome. The only reason I'm, I picked Oscar over Kieran to sort of train to be my main paladin was because of the triangle attack. That was really the only reason, because mm -hmm. I think Kieran is really excellent. He's great. His stats don't look that great right now, but the thing is, if we got He's both only at level Kirin, 7. If we got, and if we got both Kirin and Oscar up to level 20, yeah. they'd both be, like, amazing. Yeah. I think at this point, they'd probably both max out their strength and speed. Yeah, pretty cool. Lucia didn't use you. Har! We'll be seeing more of him in the next game. 
And yeah, we're now we're on to characters I didn't really train. So anyway, that's enough of that. I just wasted so much time. Let's go and talk to some friends.